good timers and welcome back to Andy's Kitchen. Today it is about uh, 10 degrees outside so I thought a great thing to do here in the middle of winter in Maine would be to make some soup. And we are going to do cheeseburger soup today. And this one's going to be in honor of the Frontiersman travel adventurer Walter Rains. He sure does love a good burger and if you watch his uh, vlogs you'll get to see lots of burgers. So we're going to turn a burger into a soup just for him. And also this is going to be for Drew from L&D. Drew, that's right, your next adventure is also going to be cheeseburger soup, so I challenge you to recreate this version of my cheeseburger soup. Let's get to it. Okay, so as always, we'll give you a rundown of what's going to go into this soup here today. And we've got some chopped garlic, some uh, Worcestershire or Worcestershire sauce, wherever you want to say it. I've got some uh, nice smoky onion mustard, and this is from uh, Terrapin Farms, which is actually a, uh, more of a local product, and it's really got a nice smoky, oniony, sweet flavor, so that's going to be great in the soup. We've got pickles, which we're going to dice up. Obviously, you can't have a cheeseburger without some pickles, and you can't have pickles without pickles here in the house, and she's uh, out in the living room right now. She'll join us a little bit later. We've got uh, some beef bone broth. Kettle and Fire is one of our favorite uh, keto products, made with 100% grass-fed uh, grass beef bones, I should say and lots of good uh, vitamins and nutrients in that. We've got some cabbage, seriously sharp cheddar cheese because you want a nice, strong, pungent cheese for this soup. And then we've got some whole peeled tomatoes, which I'll dice up. Uh, one medium to large size onion. we got some uh, uncured, no sugar bacon back there. Some great grass-fed ground beef. And then some whipping cream. And also I like to use a little bit of onion and Mrs. Dash on my hamburgers. So that's also going to go into the soup. So all right, we're going to start cooking here in just a minute, guys. Things first is we're going to dice up our bacon here. Get the package cracked open to start with. I like to keep it all in one big piece. Makes it a little bit easier to dice up. We're going to dice this first and then cook it. It'll render the fat out a little bit better and get it nice and crispy. You want to actually slow cook your bacon. You don't want to fire it right up. If you slow cook it, it'll actually render out the, uh, the fat a little bit better for you. So we're just going to go right down through. Apparently I need to sharpen my machete here. So we're going to slice all this up, and then we're going to throw it into the cast iron, guys. We'll render all the fat out of it and get it nice and crispy. And then we're going to use that fat to also saute our onions up and our hamburger. So everything's going to get that nice bacon flavor. Then the bacon is actually going to get... We're going to put half of the bacon in the soup later. And the other half we're going to save to put on top of the soup as a garnish right before we eat it so it stays nice and crispy. So that's all there is to it, guys. You just kind of dice that up a little bit. And I love to pepper up my bacon, so we're going to load this sucker up with lots of pepper. And that pepper will cook right down into that. All right, so off to the frying pan. All right, guys, so that is one package of bacon. And we're gonna let that render down a little bit. And then we're gonna add uh, about a medium onion. We're just gonna dice that up. I'm going to use the same cutting board because everything's going to be cooked together anyway. So I'm going to get going on that onion and uh, we'll add that to the pan here in just a minute. Alright guys, we're just going to let these simmer here for a few minutes, probably about five or so. And then we're going to add the ground beef right to this same pan and cook that along with the onions and probably the garlic as well. Season it all up with a little bit of that Mrs. Dash salt and pepper. And that will be the great base for our uh, soup. So while the onions are going here, we're going to crack open this can of tomato, uh, whole peeled tomatoes I should say, and get those diced up for the soup. I usually use fresh, but these are in the cupboard, and they are going to be plenty sweet as well. Fresh I usually use because they're a little less low in carbs. Sometimes these canned ones can have some uh, additives to it, but uh, this one here just looks like it has a little bit of sea salt in it, so it should be pretty good. It's organic and everything, so keto approved, and we're going to dice it up and uh, add it to the soup here a little bit later. With it, I'm just going to give these a quick dice here and get them ready for the uh, soup. All right, so the onions are looking good now. Nice and browned up, they smell great. I'll take my word for that. Just gonna go ahead and add the ground beef now. You don't really have to break this up, you can break this up as it cooks, but I'm just gonna break it up a little bit here. 
This actually is a little bit frozen still. I took it out of the freezer here a couple days ago, but apparently I should have taken it out a day earlier. So, All right, we're going to get this all cooking up together here and show you the results in just a minute. So this is about uh, two pounds of ground beef here, guys. It's probably going to make about eight cups of soup when we're all done. You can obviously make a smaller batch if you want, but we're going to use this for leftovers and also we're going to give some to Simone's uh, father. He really likes this soup as well. So. so yeah, two pounds of ground beef, large onion, whole package of bacon, and lots of other good stuff coming up. Let's season it here with some Mrs. Dash. I like to add the seasonings at this point because we can cook the seasonings a little bit. That'll bring out the flavor in them. Then we'll do our freshly ground black pepper as well. And now it's also a good time to add your Worcestershire flavor. So that way we can get the uh, hamburger nice and flavored up with that. And I actually got real Worcestershire sauce here today, guys. Finally went out and bought myself some. Might need some help opening this container though. What the hell? Who knew? Alright, so I'm gonna try to open this container, guys, and then we'll get it put into the hamburger. Ta da, I got it. Alright. And that was probably about two tablespoons. As you notice, I didn't really measure. Not really my thing, so. But we'll get that all incorporated into the hamburger here and then right into the soup pot and we'll get it all simmering together here in a couple of minutes. So we have uh, transferred our hamburger and onion mixture over to the soup pot along with the bacon in there as well. Now we're going to go ahead and add our tomatoes and also our liquid ingredients, the uh, beef broth and the heavy cream as well as a little bit of uh, fresh garlic. So we're going to add that to the pot, get it all simmering, and then we'll uh, add some shredded sharp cheddar cheese and the pickles here a little bit later. guys so while the soup is simmering next thing we're going to do is shred up some of that uh, fresh cabinet cheese here so we'll get that out of the freezer so for those of you wondering why I keep my cheese in the freezer I don't normally but I do it when I'm going to grind it especially if it's a little bit of a softer cheese because it's going to help with uh, the grinding it's going to make it a little bit better shreds so it doesn't just kind of fall apart on you so we're looking for basically about a cup and a half to two cups worth of uh, cheddar cheese here and I do use the sharp simply because it has a lot more flavor. Once again you don't have to shred your own cheese but it is a little less carbs so if you're looking to do less carbs and low carb then shred your own cheese. It's also a little bit cheaper so you can get these big blocks usually at your local uh, Walmart or Sam's Club or Costco for those of you on the west coast and in Canada. So yeah, shred that all up so it's in nice shreds and like I said we're looking for about two cups worth. So this cheese is going to go right into the pot now. You want to make sure you add this a little bit slowly to give it a chance to melt in there. So we're going to add about the yay much and then give it a stir. Let that melt first before we add the rest of it. And you want your uh, soup to be at a little bit of a simmer. I had that up a little bit high, so it's just about boiling. We don't want that. But nice little simmer. Wait for that first batch of cheese to be melted. It looks like it's pretty well melted in there. We'll go ahead and add a little bit more. And just gonna keep doing the same thing until all that cheese is gone and melted into the soup. Then we're gonna let it simmer for about another hour or so before we add our diced pickles to it. We've already got it seasoned up with some uh, Mrs. Dash, some um, onion mustard, a little bit of, uh, what else we got in here? Worcestershire sauce, some garlic. Smells great and is uh, looking pretty good here so far. So you can use any kind of pickles you want for this recipe. You can use the sweet or you can use the sour. But whatever kind of pickles you use, you always want to make sure they taste good. And for that, we have a special taste tester right here. Oh, I already grabbed a fork, so I don't know why she no. just got herself another one. But I got a fork. We've got uh, pickles to taste our pickles to make sure they are approved to go into our soup with a pickle shirt. 
And that pickle shirt is courtesy of Drew and Lisa from L&D Adventures. That was for Simone's birthday. So once again, thank you, Drew and Lisa, because that's a great shirt. And pickles, are those approved to go into our soup? They're approved. They are approved. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, now guys, we're about uh, two hours along here, and the uh, soup's been simmering here for quite a while, as you can see it. And we're going to add the pickles now, and let it cook for about another half an hour or so. Pickles are going to add, obviously, a nice brininess to it. And also, you got to have pickles if you have a cheeseburger, right? I actually never used to like pickles, but uh, over the years, since I've known her, she's been much more pleasant. That's nice, Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> but no, really, I actually never did like pickles, but since I met Simone, for some reason, I've grown accustomed to liking them. So <laughs> they are in the soup now, and that is actually pretty much completes it, but we're going to let it cook for just a little bit longer and then uh, give it a try. Put that uh, nice crispy bacon that we cooked up earlier right on top. So we'll be back with you to give this a try. Yeah, all right, good timers, so... This is the finished product. We just gotta sprinkle a little bit of bacon on here. So we get some nice crunchy bacon on top. This is pickles portion here. It's a one cup portion, and that's actually about what uh, two carbs here in one cup of this. So I'm gonna load up with a couple of cups, but yeah. Two carbs per cup, and she's gonna give it a try here for us in just a minute, as soon as she gets off the couch. She's uh, currently watching the two fab dudes um, build a movie box. And uh, I was surprised that uh, two fab dudes were actually handling the box because they don't usually do that. Usually it's more about the wood for them, but I guess there is some wood there also. So anyway, let's uh, let's give this a try here. Still wearing the uh, pickles appropriate shirt. That's right. All right. All right, don't burn yourself. It did just come out of a hot, hot pot. Hot pot. Yeah, very hot. Blow on it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Just like cheeseburger. Just like a cheeseburger. Um, a little, little soupier. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. With so, green. yeah. So this is one of uh, Pickle's favorite keto recipes, guy, guys, I should say. We've been uh, making this now for a couple of years, so. My dad's a fan of it, too. Yes, and her father's a fan of it, and her father is not really a fan of much keto stuff. We'll just say that. But uh, he does love this soup, and I love this soup, and so does Pickles. So, highly suggest you guys give this a try. And I imagine that Drew is going to be coming out with a vlog of his own version of this here shortly. So, we would like to uh, see how Drew's measures up to uh, ours. So, good luck, Drew. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time on another uh, cooking adventure here with uh, a Good Times Productions. Andy and Simone. Good night. <laughs>